What's up, my triple love and YouTube friends? It's not easy to do one handed. Cheers. Got a couple special guests here. They drove a long ways to bring some parts to us right here. Taylor just came in from Colorado. He actually drove to Michigan first, headed across Michigan back to Wisconsin. Him and his father-in-law, Tom, came down to pay us a little visit and bring us some parts. Can't thank him enough. Taylor donated this rack to uh, Project Freebie. I like him. He posted it on a, one of his pictures one day, and I said, oh, I got to have that rack. And Taylor right away is like, hey, man, it's yours. I'll bring it in December when I come out to visit the in-laws. So he brought the rack and brought a couple tracks for Sean Brown. Guys like that, that helps us. People that want to donate some parts help big time. A couple other people have just recently donated, and I can't, can't thank them enough. One is Glenn from New York. Just donated $100 to the, my PayPal account. He got a hold of me. He's like, hey, I sent some jingle your way. This is the second time this year that he's donated money into my PayPal account, and it, it helps buy parts. I, I bought actually parts for my daughter Breeze Sled with that money that he donated to us, and that's, that's awesome. I mean, it really, really helps us. This is expensive to build these things, and I don't mind doing it out of my pocket, but I really appreciate when people want to donate a couple bucks here and there and help us build these things, and that's awesome. And the other thing I want to talk about is a good, a good guy, Matt Haig, donated us some Polaris Bibles, I would call them, because these books are priceless, absolutely priceless. Trenton's got them kind of tore apart over here. i got to actually rebinder them because these things have been looked through so many times that they're kind of starting to fall apart. But having books like this in the shop, invaluable. Absolutely invaluable. The information there is unbelievable. The amount of tool information, things that you need to know as far as them books. The one book there has all the information all in RXLs to, to diagnose them and stuff. And me and Trenton, we have three of them between the two of us. And that's huge to have information like that. And it's, it's got the specialty tools that you need for doing certain things. Matt Egg, thanks again for the books. Glenn from New York, thanks a ton for the $100 PayPal donation. Taylor from Colorado and his father-in-law Tom from Wisconsin, thanks for the rack. Like I said, that really, really helps. I always put my, my email in the description area. If anybody ever wants to put a couple bucks in my PayPal, feel free. I mean, even if it's $2, $2 would help. They'll buy a dang near gallon of gas these days. They'll buy a spark plug. So appreciate it. But uh, Tom's... Tom's kind of the uh, driving force on Taylor's build, kind of like how Trenton is on my builds. Tom was talking about his cleaning techniques here, and he talked about this chemical that he uses. It's not a super strong chemical. I mean, you can wash your hands with it, but Tom does all the cleaning and uh, makes Taylor's builds look just beautiful. And what is the name of that cleaner you're telling me about again, Tom? It's awesome. You buy it at Dollar Bill store. It, and it, it, what's it, it's, it's awesome. It's, that's the name of it. It's yep. awesome. It's, it's awesome. It's, LA's totally awesome. Oh, LA that's totally awesome. awesome. Okay. Yep. You primarily see the word awesome. Awesome on it. Okay. You can only get it at all. And you just, you just use a straight mix. You don't dilute it or anything like that. You nope. just put in a spray bottle and spray it in. Spray it on. And go after it with a toilet brush. You can actually buy yep. like a 20 ounce or 32 ounce bottle with a spray nozzle on oh, it already. Or you right buy it by the gallon. And you use a toilet brush. Because you said you used some kind of a round shaped a brush on it. <laughs> a parts cleaner brush. Sure, okay. Yeah. What, yeah. Yep, right on. But yeah, Trenton kind of does the same thing for us, but we've been using a lot of simple green, but I'm going to give what Tom's talking about. This LA Awesome, LA Totally Awesome. I'm going to give it a try. Um, I'm always looking for another cleaner to give a try. So, But we use simple green, it works good, but I'm open for anything. But here we go. We got the sleds looking awesome, beautiful. I got a couple more decals coming. Uh, I got one coming for the back. Nathan's coming on Saturday for, with the seat. Can't wait. And we're actually going to weigh it. We're putting this thing on the scale on Saturday. And that's always fun. And I didn't really do any build-up video to two bag as far as the scale went. I just threw it on the scale and we just did a live weighing. And I'm not going to do a contest right now, but we're weighing this on Saturday. We're going to weigh it in the next video. And I'm going to post a video right after. So right now in the comments section, start throwing your guesses in. I'm, what, what, I'll let you guys guess first. What do you think? What do you think? Part sled's gonna weigh on the scale? I have no clue. No, I'll just throw a number out there. It's just a guess. I'm not holding you to it. 485. What? Well, here, I'll give you. A, I'll give you a hint. This one weighed 533, and that's an XLT, extra light. So 495 on that one. 500 on this one. No, this one was 533. Okay. 
Okay. Too big was 533 on the scale. You don't think it's going to be lighter? I don't think it's going to be lighter. Okay. okay. I'm not trying to persuade your decision. I'm going to stick to it. All right. What do you think, Tom? I about the same. 495? I, I, yeah. I have, but I see uh, some aluminum here compared to plastic. Uh, 495. What do you think of Trenton? 580. God, you took mine. Oh, All right. Wow. Well, Trent says four, 580. I, I'm going to go with, um, God dang it, that was the one I wanted so bad. <laughs> 581. I, I'm, no, I'm going I'm to go 595. I think it's just going to be a tick under 600 because cheapo was 640 something. Yeah, an aggressive chassis SPX lawn track was 640 on the scale with just a couple gallons of gas. So, But yeah, so we'll weigh that on Saturday. So right now, like I said, start in the comments section, start putting your guesses in. We'll see who gets the closest on it. Like I said, I'm not gonna give anything away on it, but it's always fun to do it. And whoever guessed the closest, I will, uh, I'll recognize them in the next video. And uh, I think in the last video, we started each one, but I think right now, I think we gotta fire them both. Let's have, let's fire them both up, Trenton, so we can hear both of them sit here making music. Uh, you can grab one if you wanna rip the cord on one, Taylor, or, or either, whatever you wanna do, or just let Trenton start them both. All right, let's have Trenton fire them up. I'd say there's left, definitely a little bit more thump on that 680 than there is yeah, out of the yeah, 600. Yeah, yeah. It's noticeable. <laughs> definitely noticeable, bigger thump out of that one, but they both run great. I can't wait to get them out and do some testing and tuning, but unfortunately right now in Minnesota, we have Zippo for snow. I, you can't even drive to it right now in Minnesota, and the lakes aren't even froze over either. Uh, we got rain, rain all day. Just the other day, it's gonna be 50 on Sunday here for Christmas Eve. Colorado, what do you guys got out there? Nothing on forecast. Yeah. We went and, riding uh, two weekends ago. We'd, we'd get to the edge of where the groomer was. We'd fall off, get stuck. They quit grooming the day after we left. And great. It was two weeks ago, and there's nothing on the forecast. And what'd you have? A, a, a foot of snow or something they up high? a foot or two up there. We yep. probably got about eight inches out of the house. That's down, uh, down low. Sure. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, this weekend, like I said, we'll have Nathan here at the new, with the seat for it. We'll put it on a scale and weigh it. And... Uh, Let's everybody pray for the snow gods to treat us well. Some snow here coming up so we can actually ride them and do some testing and tuning on them. Thanks, everyone. Dang it, how'd you do that? <laughs>